Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives Eric is surrounding Sloane's falsehoods, and that could be awful information for... Nicole? Eric is at last getting a clue on Days of Our Lives. At any rate, we trust so. In any case, the very reality not set in stone to figure out what's the deal with Sloane's finances implies she will not have the option to save up the Reception Act for a really long time. Tomorrow, he will begin digging further into the missing cash and, we know from spoilers, by the following week, the path will lead him right to Leo's doorstep. There's a ton of things Sloane can work right out of, yet the very reality that Eric is looking further into her assets implies that her last endeavor to lose him didn't work. So we don't see him taking her or Leo's statement for anything that wild reason they make up this time. What's more, that implies that we're probably getting perilously near reality emerging. That is not great for Sloane, however it may not be really great for Nicole, by the same token. Or on the other hand rather, we could alter that to it may not be great for Nicole fans. For a certain something, she just confessed to EJ she's at a junction. She's at last emerging from her downturn about losing her child, thanks to some extent to the emergency the family's been under with Holly going too far. Holly's back in solid and the aggravation of losing her child isn't as overwhelming. Be that as it may, she told EJ, she doesn't know what she ought to do now. Furthermore, between Eric's quest for reality and Nicole's discussion with EJ about her future, we fear that time might be slowing down for Zucker and Nicole. Since we as a whole realize that Ariane Zucker is no longer with the show. It's unfortunately simply a question of the shooting plan finding what they're showing on screen. There hasn't been any word such a long ways about whether Nicole would exit with Zucker or be reworked with another entertainer, which is something that has never been finished since the person's presentation. Truly, we can envision Nicole getting Jude back and concluding that this last awfulness was the straw that broke the camel's back, she's finished with Salem. It would be similarly as Sammy's commitment that she'd at no point ever gone to Salem in the future. We're certain knowing the way that comparable they were would make the two women insane. Be that as it may, could Nicole take Jude with her or abandon him in Salem? We can't envision her needing to surrender him in the wake of getting him back from Sloan. However, in the event that she learns reality with regards to Jude's dad, she may leave him in a tad while she forgets about town to sort things for herself. That, however, could get us somewhat more time, as she'd in any event need to bond with her child. In any case, that would suggest that Nicole may be back sometime in the not-so-distant future, something we're unfortunately uncertain of with the legitimate move suckers made with Days of Our Lives, Makers, and Sony. One thing we are really sure of is that the nearer we get to Sloane's untruths backfiring, the nearer we're probably getting to expressing goodbye to Zucker. A clashing acknowledgement Nicole's joy might mean our misery. Stefan recruits Sloan to shield him, what could turn out badly? Days of our lives spoilers and updates bother Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, will employ Sloan Peterson Brady, Jessica Surfity, to safeguard him. What's the worst that could happen? Days of our lives spoilers Sloan is frantic for cash and a success Sloan is frantic for cash and a success, since Leo Unmistakable, Greg Rickard, has depleted her dry she's behind on her lease and Eric Brady's, Greg Rickard, getting dubious. Thus, despite the fact that Stefan has likely paid her a liberal retainer, she could be a piece diverted as she's setting up his safeguard and preparing to confront the adjudicator. Besides, she's facing lead prosecutor E.J. DiMera, Dan Furrer Eagle, who, despite the fact that he's Stefan's sibling, they've never especially gotten along furthermore, Stefan handed himself over. How can she shield somebody who conceded and transformed himself into the Salem Police Division? Sloan should be extremely occupied with what everything is happening in the background, particularly since the DA's stepdaughter was a casualty of the medication Stefan ran. DOL spoilers, this should be relatively unimportant to her normally it's the situation that what somebody doesn't know can hurt them, yet for Sloan's situation this shouldn't be a big deal for her it probably might help her case and Stefan. While they look out for the appointed authority's decision, EJ and Stefan secretly examine what's in question it resembles their playing a round of chess, a very demera thing to do. Stefan, unbeknownst to even Sloan, has a mystery ace in the hole a recording of his and EJ's conversation about sending Stefan out of the country under another personality. 
As such, a little shakedown between siblings that could destroy EJ's vocation would it be a good idea for a get out, and Stefan will get it out in the event that EJ doesn't free him. After that little conversation and obviously some safeguard sorcery in the background, Stefan without a doubt leaves a liberated person Sloan and hails a moan of help and EJ claims to be shocked. Days of our lives spoilers it might have turned out badly Sloan is feeling better when she trusts her splendid safeguard methodology permitted her client, Stefan, to leave his preliminary a liberated individual. Stefan had that mystery recording to extort EJ with from the start, yet he didn't uncover that to his lawyer. It might have turned out badly, attempting to mount a guard for a man who handed himself over, and face a DA who is his sibling he doesn't coexist with. Be that as it may, Stefan says thanks to her, she's generously compensated yet it'll scarcely be sufficient to equal the initial investment with her spending plan after Leo's huge uses. He's now depleted her credit records to the fact of the matter she's beginning to get authority calls things are going to get appalling among Stefan and EJ. Sometime this plan to occur. Days of our lives spoilers say that Stefan will whip out the ace in the hole on EJ, and negative, we are not discussing that sort of trump. Stefan's day in court is at long last here as both he and EJ examine what's in question over his medication dealing case. Continue perusing beneath for all that you really want to be aware. Days of our lives spoilers, things are going to get terrible among Stefan and EJ entertainer Dan Furigal, who plays EJ on the hit Peacock Cleanser, says in another meeting with Drama Condensation, Stefan and EJ are playing a round of chess, and, in this example, Stefan is likely a couple of pushes forward. Stefan has jumped out his secret weapon, which is a recording of EJ specifying his arrangement to whisk Stefan out of the nation and orchestrate another personality for him. Since EJ has specific yearnings, Stefan's like, look, on the off chance that individuals figure out what's happening, you're in a bad way similarly however much I am. EJ's attempting to exert some serious pressure on Stefan on the grounds that clearly, he believes things should turn out well for him. He needs to have the option to do the two positions, lead prosecutor and demara CEO. EJ's desiring power. He needs Stefan as far away from him as possible, and he wants somebody to accept any penalty for the medication issue. Dan additionally expresses that while his personality gives a conciliatory sentiment, he truly assumes a sense of ownership with what has occurred. He put it along these lines, it's all the more, in some cases, stuff, occurs, and we attempt and be better. In any case, I guarantee you, I'll be better. It's one of those circumstances, other than going, look, I messed up. I did this. I was the one that drove the charge in this. It's all the more very much like, once in a while chasing equity, we go down some unacceptable roads. Days of our lives spoilers, what's next in Salem? At the question and answer session EJ lets Brady know whether the statement of regret ought to be acknowledged. Dan sneak peeks, EJ is the lead prosecutor and it's more in accordance with, don't talk. Try not to implicate yourself. It's, avoid as much self-incrimination as possible, something like that. Days of our lives airs on the Peacock organization. Fans will essentially need to tune in every single day to figure out what will occur straight away. Meanwhile, let us in on your thought process by leaving us aligned with your viewpoints in our remarks segment underneath. Days of our lives airs non-weekend days on the Peacock organization. Really take a look at your nearby postings for times.